arrived at the Hadley household at 6.35 p.m. It was a typical American middle class scene, at first glance anyways, in beans. Thanks for the coffee, ma'am. But right now, an Officer McCloskey and I would like to ask your daughter a few questions. Do you remember where you were last Saturday evening, the 12th of October? Hmm, let's see. I was, oh yeah, I slept at Mabel's house. She had a slumber party. It was real peachy. Hmm. Now, dear, Detective Hacker is only trying to get to the bottom of that horrible murder of your schoolmate. Shut your trap, Ma. I don't know nothing about no killing, see? Don't you talk to your mother that way, you little tramp! Okay, okay, I was at the movies, I. I see. And what theater was the picture at, miss? The Bijou. And the name of the picture, miss? Uh, Captain Amazing versus the Space Lepers. Huh. So then you went straight home to bed, right? Captain Amazing versus the Space Lepers. If I'm not mistaken, that's Officer McCloskey's favorite picture. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yep. Sure is. Seen it seven times. But I don't remember seeing it at the Bijou. I caught it across town at the Regal. So maybe you better work on your story a little bit more, miss. Okay, miss. Here's the deal. We have sworn statements from several of your hoodlum pals that you were out with them till 2 a.m. Why those lousy little bit? You're lying, miss. And if you don't tell us where you were and what happened that night, we're going to put your wise butt in the clink. It's our fault, officer. We never watched her enough. We let her do what she wanted. We trusted her. And now she's running around with those strange girls. They, they cut their hair short. They wear suits and ties. They, they, they smoke cigarettes and drink beer. And they don't even go out with boys. They, they don't. Shut up, Ma. Don't you talk to your mother that way, you little tramp! What's the matter, miss? Don't you like boys? <laughs> yeah, I like boys, I. I like them because they're stupid, weak, and easy to take care of. Don't you mean easy to get rid of? You don't scare me, copper. I told you, I got nothing to do with no devil worshiping, see? Devil worship? Who said anything about devil worship? Hey, Jimmy, did you hear me mention devil worship at any point in this conversation? I think she knows more than we thought, Captain. I think she's right in the thick of this mess. What's happening? What's happened to my baby girl? <laughs> Stop it, Merle. She didn't do anything. More coffee, officers? Thanks, ma'am. We gotta be getting back to the station. But we ain't leaving till little Miss Satanic America here fesses up. You hear that, you wise little... Can it, Jimmy? Let me handle this. Please excuse my partner, Mrs. Hadley. You know how rookies can get. Too much moxie and not enough common sense. You see, Officer McCloskey's dad was a highly decorated cop. He walked a beat for 30 years before he was gunned down by a reefer-smoking maniac in a surprise bust. So you can see why he's so, uh, eager to set things right, if you know what I mean. I understand. I know the law, you bums. I ain't talking till my lawyer gets here. What do you know, Jimmy? Looks like we have ourselves an expert on the American justice system. A regular beer-drinking, pot-smoking, devil-worshipping police procedure know-it-all. Those strange blood markings on the ground at the murder scene. What do they mean? Hmm. It means the Dark One demands a blood sacrifice. Come again? The Dark One demands a blood sacrifice. As the moon doth rise on the 12th of October and the glorious scent of blood covers the land, the demon spawn descendants of the triad of Remulaca scream a murderous call to arms. The Dark One cries out for the flesh and bone of a virgin male, 
This sacrificial male must be healthy and strong, and worthy enough to appease the master. He must be full of meat and muscle. <laughs> he is taken to the ancient slaughter grounds. Invisible trails of golden fire point to the exact evil spot. Only true followers of the Dark One can see this fire. It is the fire from the four trails of Escatalusia. All hail the Pitchfork King. A sacrificial male is placed face down on the ground. The night creatures gather round to talk backwards and smoke cigarettes. Come on, sister, snap uh, out of it. Here we go. Uh, don't know nothing, Kappa. Don't know nothing. Let's take Papa. her downtown, boys. Don't know nothing, Kappa. Let's take her downtown, boys. Don't know nothing, Kappa. Let's take her downtown, boys. Don't know nothing. Let's take her downtown, boys. Hold it, Frank. She's got her blade. Stay back. Stay back, I say. I'll cut you. Stay away from me, see? Keep away, copper, or I'll... You okay, Frank? I'm okay. But I'll feel better when I know this little she-devil is in hell where she belongs. Jail, that is. Sister, snap out of it. Here we go. Come on, that's enough now. Come on, Missy. Come on. We gotta go. Come on. That's enough now. Snap out of it, sister. Come on. Hey, come on. <laughs>